Um, yeah, it's, it's, it's been a while since I last did a live uh, Facebook video. And I'm not even blaming this on ESCOM, uh, the power cuts and all these things, right? Um, we, uh, yeah, I've been around and, and, and I know you've been around and yeah, I've, I've also missed you. So like I said, I'm not blaming this on ESCOM. Everyone is blaming ESCOM for everything. I'm not blaming ESCOM. I have found things that will help me to, you know, to survive without, without ESCOM. And I think that everyone should be doing that. Um, we have been, you know, I've been hearing people talk about um, how the South African economy is going down. And, you know, people have all these things to say about the economy and all these things. And most of the things that people say are unsubstantiated. They don't have uh, enough stats or facts to back what they're saying. Well, I'm not here to talk about ESCOM or... Um, uh, the economy. I just want to talk about uh, finances and money, and 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 I feel that as as, as parents, even with, when we grow up, our parents neglected teaching us about money, and that's that's what I want to talk us uh, to us about today. How do we teach our children about money, and um, you know what are the practical ways in which we can we can do these things? Right, like I said. They are things that, um, you know, we were taught as kids or we were not taught as kids. But let's forget about that. Let's focus on what we can teach our kids going forward. What is it that we can teach our children uh, growing forward? Right? And I believe that uh, our kids need to know about, uh, about money from an early age. Um, and I believe that when we do this, uh, only then can we break the cycle of poverty that most of us grew up in, um, because then our our, uh, our understanding of money uh, has changed, and our understanding of money is different uh, to what it you know to what we grew up hearing about about money. So, what are some of these things that we can teach our children, or how what what are some of these ways in which uh, we can teach our children about money? Number one, initiate. Uh, an open communication with your children, right? Have an honest conversation with your children about, about money. Make them understand your money problems. Make them understand your um, money frustrations and your, your money wins and your money losses and all those things, right? Um, as parents, we also need to sit down with our kids, uh, maybe at a, at a dinner table, uh, maybe before watching that uh, movie, sit down with them and discuss issues to do with, uh, with money and do so openly, allow them to ask questions, uh, ask them questions as well and answer those questions to the best of your ability. And if you, uh, if you cannot answer those questions, promise to come back to them with answers. Go and do the research and uh, give them answers. But the most important thing is to have that honest, uh, open conversation about about money. It, it, money is not sacred, so you can't say, um, you know, you, you, you can't say to people, ah, Simbarasha Sixpence says, can you please share uh, this conversation afterwards? Uh, I'm a bit tied up. Yes, Simbarashi, this um, video will be will be will be there on my timeline. If you come back, you'll be able to say it. So let's have that honest conversation with our children about uh, about money, right? And also remembering that you're going to be an example to your kids uh, about you know about how you deal with money. We're going to talk about that later on, but. Uh, one other thing that I've heard also maybe very controversial to some people is that you could, if you're giving your children some pocket money uh, here and there, you, you might want uh, to, you know, compensate them or pay them for chores that they do around the house. Uh, if they sweep, if they, you know, do dishes and all of that stuff. And then you then, you know, teach them how to manage that money that they're getting out of this. Yesterday I was having this conversation and um, someone say, say to me that, um, they give their children uh, pocket money uh, every week and a certain amount of money um, and they don't give them another, uh, you know, batch um, until that time that that money is supposed to uh, cover is, is, is finished. In the beginning, they said the, 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 the children used to use that, that money up 
immediately sometimes in the first day that that money is there but now sometimes they have to give them pocket money uh, before they even exhaust the first batch the second point is make these concepts uh, tangible right and and when you say tangible you're already thinking about uh, uh, your piggy banks right your uh, saving jars and stuff and and I'm not when I'm saying make it practical I'm not saying give them your credit card or your bank card and allow them to shop online or punch or you or, you know go in and use your ATM card or whatever it is at the shop or online and punch those details online no that's not what you're talking about we're talking about these piggy banks or these saving jars and make them understand that they're saving or teach them how to save for particular goals right? and once they save for these particular goals um, you know make them understand how long it will take them to save for these particular goals um for you adults maybe you do like these pie charts and all these things maybe for them use like uh you know your uh sticky notes your colorful paintings and whatever it is that you can use so that they can understand that i'm saving towards this goal and this is where i am now uh, towards my goal whether they're saving for christmas whether they're saving to buy uh, themselves a toy or whether they're saving to surprise their friends at school whether it's for their birthdays whatever it is make it as exciting and practical as possible i'm not an artist so i wouldn't give you much tips here but these are some of the things that you might want to think about uh the third point is uh you know what we, we actually just spoke about that draw a, a savings chart right make them understand where how far they are with their goals and how how long it is going to take them uh, to reach that particular goal. So I'm not going to go that into much detail because we've already spoken about this point already. Point number four, and that will be my last point uh, for the day. So this is going to be very, a very short video. I just I did this video because, uh, you know, it had it, been a while since I did a, a video on Facebook. So the last point is that you as a parent, you need to practice what you preach. Now, this is very important because kids learn from imitation kids learn from observation they look at what you're doing and then you know they they make those things their own so as 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 parents you need to lead by example you need to be principled about money you need to be principled about saving you need to be principled uh, about spending right you need to be principled about the various sources of income that you might uh, you might be having out there because your kids are going to be looking at you as an example um, you know, someone that they can look up to. Uh, this is very important. Uh, you, you cannot teach your kids uh, to save if you're not if you're not saving. They, they will look at you. You know, every time something happens, you're running around trying to look for for money or trying to borrow money. Uh, when they grow up, they will probably want to do the same. They want to you know run run around, borrow money uh, from machonisas. You know, those things get away from those things. It's not it's not it's not good for you. It's not good for your pocket right um and and i'm not saying that i am um you know a moneyed person but i am only saying that uh, i am a principled person and i wish that everyone else can be as principled um as as uh, as i'm trying to be and as principled as other parents are out there are trying to be and the the other people that will say well um you know my kids um I don't want my kids to have the, this luxury because they'll think that money is, you know, money comes from trees, money rains from trees. Look, if you're able to give your kids the best life that they can have, um, do that by all means. Um, do not, um, you know, when we're growing up, and it just reminded me about something now, when, we, when we're growing up, um, we had, uh, you know, that parents used to have kids because they expected their children to look after them or um, they expected some of their children to look after other children, right? We, we need to break away from this kind of thinking because we are perpetuating uh, our poverty in our, in, our, in our families and in, in Africa in general. So that's, we also need to think about, because remember they will learn from you. So you, you as a parent, you need to think about saving, you need to think about your retirement, you need to think about saving for your retirement, uh, not just saving for retirement, but actually making sure that you will have funds for your retirement um you, you know you probably gonna retire at 65 but who knows maybe you're going to die at 90 maybe at 100 and if you don't have these funds it's going to be a problem for you and for your children right and now because you've also not taught your children these important things these children are also going to be 
you know, in, in, a difficult, uh, in a difficult situation. So these are the things that I wanted to say today. Um, yeah, I, I had missed you guys. I will come back some other time with, uh, with another talk. It's probably going to be about money again, as always. Um, maybe it's going to be about shares. Maybe I'll bring in someone um, and we can chat about these things. But yeah, for today, this is all I had for you. Uh, teach your children uh, about money. Answer their questions, um, you know, correctly and truthfully. Because, you know, they, they have access to other sources of information. Their teachers, their kids at school. Uh, friends at school, friends around the internet, all these things. So if you're not honest, they're probably going to find these answers from someone else. I see a few comments here. Uh, Lennon Guja says, powerful talk. Yes, sir. thank you so much. Uh, Simbai B.E. Strong says, very true. Uh, Simbai also say, uh, okay, taking someone here for these, for these lessons. Anyway, guys, I wanted this to be a very short video, so I'll end here. I'll see you again soon. Cheers. Bye.